my dad refereed as a kid, or when I was a kid, so I kind of had an early exposure to it. And uh, it was a way to make some extra cash while I was playing hockey as a kid, growing up uh, out on the peninsula, and uh, just kind of evolved from there, and things kind of took off. Growing up, I was watching this league and never thought that I'd be a part of it. I started uh, junior hockey and junior B actually when I was like 17 years old and uh, kind of got an early shot as a young kid and you know you make a lot of mistakes early and even sometimes today. In the feet guys in the feet! Loose, loose! In this league I mean we're fortunate enough to see outside of pro hockey some of the best players in the world right and I mean 7,000 people sitting here and watch the game we get to watch the game closer to anybody right you get that raw emotion you get the energy of the crowd uh, uh, that's irreplaceable, right? It's a pretty, pretty magical experience. We're good! We're good! We're fine! The skill level is different from what I've been doing before, but also the travel is much more. You're on the road more for this level, and that's the kind of the behind-the-scenes part that people don't recognize, is how much we're actually away from home on the road, traveling before games, and having, having long nights and long drives home. Stay there. Don't come in. Back up. Back up. Just like players, it's kind of wanting to, to go as far as you can in the sport and push yourself to exceed to that next level, whether it be working up into professional hockey or even within Hockey Canada and doing the national events like U17, U18, World Juniors. Just pushing yourself to be the best you can be. And then that plus the slash and fall that's the best. Veteran refs are a huge part of my success and they just have knowledge that you haven't been through yet. They've They've done so many games that, that you haven't experienced yet, and their knowledge passing on to you is something that they can't replicate anywhere else. All right, boys, I need two sticks on the ice. I would just say, like, I know it's kind of cliche, but, you know, work hard and, and, and enjoy it, have fun. There's a lot of good memories you can have and a lot of fun you can have along the way and a lot of good opportunities. And before you know it, you're going to be in your mid-30s and standing right here, right? So yeah, it goes fast, just enjoy it because it's, uh, it's a lot of fun and it's a privilege to be able to work. Oh.